my final Biden-Harris video. I'm feeling kind of sentimental because I've been making political videos since the George Floyd riots. Let's do one last trip down memory lane and see where Biden and Harris are right now. Biden says, lock him up, politically lock him up in remarks about Trump. Not one reporter has ever asked President Joe Biden, did you order the indictments against former President Donald Trump? Did you order the raid against Trump's home of Mar-a-Lago? Isn't that strange? Not one reporter has the slightest curiosity to ask Joe Biden, did you order these indictments against your political opponent? I mean, wouldn't you think that would be the most basic question for reporters to ask? Nope, nothing. We are living in a surreal world. I wanted to leave you with just two weeks to go in the 2024 presidential campaign. With my thoughts on Kamala Harris, I'm not trying to tell you who to vote for, but I will show you what I believe is a preview of a Kamala Harris presidency. It is this short video done five days ago by Kamala Harris. It appears she's not at the White House, but they set up some flags to make it look like she's president, even though she's not president. Someone decided at the Biden White House that it would look presidential to have the vice president, who has no military authority whatsoever, to announce the death of Hamas leader Yahya Sinwar. So only WFAA shows her walking in. Now I like this opening because they're trying to show Kamala Harris is presidential and a leader. She walks in here. And it's obvious that an aide has provided this briefing booklet. She opens the folder, and there's a page in there for her to read. And it's obvious that she doesn't have the slightest idea what is written on this until she opens that folder. That's how unprepared she is. And this is supposed to instill confidence in voters that she's going to know what she's doing once she's president. Today, Israel confirmed that Yahya Sinwar, the leader of Hamas, is dead. And justice has been served. So why they thought she would be the best person to make this announcement, I have no idea. It doesn't seem like it was a smart idea at all. All we know is that this is a preview for the manner in which Kamala Harris will be your president. Kamala Harris will come out, have no idea what she's going to be talking about, she will read a prepared statement on whatever the topic is. And then, most importantly, she will leave without answering a single question from a single reporter. Dignity You're not and security senile. for all. You're not thank you all. Joe Biden. Thank you. It's a US Barack Obama could answer questions. If you're the next reincarnation of Barack Obama, why can't you answer questions like he would? Why do they have to treat you like you're Joe Biden? Joe Biden can't answer questions because he's senile and insane. This is a room packed full of cameramen and reporters. They wanted her to appear presidential, but she didn't say anything. She doesn't know anything about the topic. They just made her come out to make it look like she was in charge. She pretends to be in charge, but she has no idea what she's going to read. They could have had a Chinese menu there in that briefing folder and then all laughed behind her back when she found out there wasn't a speech for her to read. If you vote for Kamala Harris, you're voting for a complete moron who doesn't know anything about being president. And the worst thing is, this is previewing for you precisely how she will govern as your president and my president. How can you watch this and still vote for her? Donald Trump enjoys where he is, and Kamala Harris is afraid to answer a single question. You already know who you have to vote for. The question is, do you have the courage to save this country? Thank you.